Ja, herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Ausgabe SI Talk. Ich bin in München auf einer Rohstoffkonferenz, die dieses Jahr, ich weiß nicht, erstmal oder zweit, äh, zum zweiten Mal stattfindet. Neben mir ist ein Moll Holland, er ist äh, ROX Resources Managing Director. Und äh, Ian wird uns gleich jetzt einmal die Company vorstellen. Ich kenne es selber eigentlich nicht. Ein thank you to have time. Uh, we're here in the beautiful Munich. Okay, we don't see too much from the beautiful Munich. But, <lacht> but, um, Guten Tag. Oh, you speak a few words? Ein bisschen. Oh, you, you, you have it in the school? Or? Yes. Really? Yes, but ein bisschen. <lacht> <lacht> but it's good. Perfect. <lacht> uh, yeah, but come to your company. Yes. Um, what are you doing? For what commodity you're looking for yes. and in which area you're looking? Yes, so we are a, a, an Australian stock exchange listed exploration company, mm. uh, ROX Resources. Um, we've been in existence for 15 years and over the time we've had several projects. At the moment our main project is a nickel sulphide project in Western Australia. Okay, in yeah. Western Australia. In Western Australia. Okay, that's that's good. Then normally a lot of Australian companies are also looking for Africa and so on. Sure. Yeah. Uh, but Aust Australia is, f especially from the, I think, uh, legal standpoint, a much, much easier way to work. Yes, um, legally, uh, politically and socially stable. Mm -hmm. So it's a good place to be. Working. So how the project looks like now in which yes. state you are? So we found the nickel there about five or six years ago. Mm -hmm. We have drilled up some resources. We have done a scoping study, mm -hmm. which is the same as a PEA mm -hmm. in Canada. Um, and it shows that the project um, has good economics um, at a projected forward nickel price. Mm -hmm. So we are now at the, at the point where we are looking to fund the next stage, which would be Uh, expand the resource and do a pre-feasibility mm -hmm. study mm -hmm. so that we can look at getting into production within three or four years time to okay. produce nickel sulfides. Um, coming to some <coughs> grades, uh, yeah. I like grades. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so how the, the, the nickel ore body looks like? So we have four separate nickel deposits. Mm -hmm. In total is 4.8 million tonnes at 2% nickel. Okay. For 91,000 tons of contained nickel, mm -hmm. which uh, on the same sort of value basis is around seven or 800,000 ounces of gold, if it was mm -hmm. you know, for equivalent, give an idea. Is, is this from, uh, I, I'm not so in the nickel business itself, but mm -hmm. is this a small resources or mid-sized resources? I would say it's mid-sized resource. Um, it's, it's still early days. We've only been exploring for four or five years and some of that time the nickel price has been very low and it's been hard to raise capital for exploration. Yeah, for sure. so, so, you know, I would say that uh, we could probably find a lot more nickel there mm -hmm. um, given, given So you time. have a lot of room for it. Um, <coughs> yes, yes. So, so um, one of the projects we have 40 kilometres mm -hmm. to explore and we've only defined deposits over two kilometres. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, the other depot, the other project, we have about 15 kilometres. And they are shallow, or, or yes, they're shallow. So um, the mineralisation starts um, at the bottom of the weathered zone, mm -hmm. okay. which is about 100 metres below surface. Okay. So, so it, is yeah. this project more designed than uh, f as uh, an open pit or more? No, be uh, underground. Underground. Be underground, um, and a very standard underground mining technique that is used very widely in Western Australia. Mm -hmm. The processing of the nickel is a very standard processing mm -hmm. um, approach. Mm -hmm. um, we are within 200 kilometres uh, from BHP, where mm -hmm. they have a nickel processing facility. Mm -hmm. So we, one option we have is to mine and truck the ore and process mm -hmm. it at BHP. Mm -hmm. um, the other option we have is to process it on site ourselves. Mm -hmm. I, I think that this one to, to drive it to BHP is... is from the capex costs up front, much yes. cheaper. Yes. But uh, from the the profit, the margin is lower. The, the, exactly right. That's right. So if we if we can build a, a big enough project, then we can justify having a concentrator on site. Mm -hmm. um, but it could be that we start by doing okay. some processing with BHP, okay. and, and then, then after after. A, after a couple of years, we we build a concentrator. So there's a, a lot of different uh, options. If we come to, to CapEx, and I know exactly it's really tough at the moment to, 
to raise money. Yeah. Um, what do you plan for the next 12 months? So our plan for the next 12 months, um, we need to do some more drilling to expand the resource because um, an expanded resource gives a much better economic output for, mm -hmm. the, for the project. Mm -hmm. um, and then we do a, a pre-feasibility study. Mm -hmm. So and what, do you, uh, what are the costs for the 12 months? So it's probably about $5 million. dollars. Okay, do you have yeah. this already in the bank or are you we, we have that money in the bank. Mm -hmm. um, we have $8.7 million in the bank plus mm -hmm. some other receiver, about $4 million dollars receivables. Mm -hmm. But we would like to find a partner mm -hmm. to partner the project okay. because that helps share the risk. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, we, we want to make sure that our shareholders get the best value from the project. Absolutely. I um, absolutely agree with that. Do you're looking for, the, for, for big names like BHP or something, then this makes absolutely logical sense for them? Yeah, we're talking to a number of different parties yeah. um, and uh, you know we haven't concluded any arrangements yet but we're hopeful that we can do that you know in the next six months or so okay yeah. so the primary goal is uh, or you think now you you uh, you advance the project uh, far enough that you can look now for a really good partner yeah. that going with them forward yes um, and then the next plans are more drilling uh, pre fee Uh, and then hopefully in two, three years, a production decision in this direction and the That's other right. direction. That's right. So and in this is in, in, in a nutshell. In a nutshell. Yeah. Um, shareholder structure, very important yes. for us. Yes. How it looks so we, we do have a lot of shares on issue. Right? Yes, Australian, uh, company. Australian companies. <laughs> Australian companies do. Uh, we have just under 1.3 billion shares. Mm -hmm and are currently trading at about one cent. Mm -hmm. So our market capitalization is about $13 million. That's nearly that what you have. And that's about cash backing, yeah. basically. So we're very cheap. So uh, a guy get at, at the moment the project for free. Yes. Especially when you're coming up with a partner, and they That's will right. set up uh, with with the. Well, we would hope we would hope if if uh, you know if we announce a partner, we would hope that the share price will go up. Yeah. Because that demonstrates the for sure. project value. Yeah. For sure. So um, we'll wait and see. As an example, uh, in the past, we had a zinc project five or six years ago, and a share price was 1.5 cents. We brought in a partner, and a share price went to 10 cents. Wow. So there is an opportunity for that value add to mm -hmm. happen. Yeah. Uh, main shareholders? Very open register. Mm -hmm. um, the main shareholder is a small investment fund in New York. Mm -hmm. And then after that, it's high net worth individuals, um, mainly in Australia. Mm -hmm. Most of our shares are held in Australia, mm -hmm. um, not many overseas. So that's maybe it's also a good point when you diversify your shareholder base, it brings also more interest. That's right. That's, yeah. that's what we're hoping. Okay. Yeah. I thank you for the introduction to your company. Yeah. Next time in 12 months, hopefully, uh, yeah. maybe at uh, this conference or other conference, we yeah. can make an update yes. and uh, then we can see what you're coming up. See, we re report on progress. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yes. Uh, thank you. Ja, also das war jetzt ähm, ein, ein Update oder ein erstes Interview von Rox Resources und er hat es eigentlich ähm, sehr gut selber zusammengefasst. Sie haben ein Nickelprojekt in Western Australien, das ist natürlich von der Judikatur viel besser als irgendwo in Afrika zu sitzen, äh, weil es viel stabiler ist, äh, die Rahmenbedingungen sind einfach viel klarer abgesteckt und Australien ist ein Rohstoffland, das ist Punkt 1. Ähm, Punkt 2 ist, Sie haben in den letzten fünf Jahren ein äh, Nickelprojekt äh, abgesteckt, Sie haben dort äh, ich habe jetzt die Zahlen nicht ganz im Kopf, ich werde es dann nachher drunter schreiben, um die 91.000 Tonnen oder sowas, vergleichbar mit 700.000, 800.000 Unzen Gold, haben sie bereits als Ressource definiert und auch die erste Studie dazu abgeliefert, die vergleichbar ist mit einer PE in, in Kanada. Und jetzt geht es darum, für die nächsten zwölf Monate quasi weiterzubohren und ein Briefi zu machen. Das wollen Sie möglicherweise nicht alleine machen, sondern Sie suchen einen Partner, denn Sie haben mehrere Optionen. Es könnten zum Beispiel, wenn Sie jetzt, was in der ersten Studie rauskommen ist, wenn Sie das zum Beispiel in 200 Kilometer ist BHP mit einer Produktionsanlage, dass Sie dort einfach das Ohr hinschiffen, dann sind die Capex-Kosten natürlich viel niedriger. Aber wenn Sie natürlich genug Nickel finden, dann macht es auch Sinn, dass man auf 
dem Gebiet selber einen Concentrator hinstellt. Ja, also das, das Thema ist, Sie suchen jetzt einen Partner. Wenn nicht, können Sie es selber auch finanzieren. Sie haben 8 Millionen in der Bank, Sie haben ein paar Millionen, was Sie auch noch aus ausstehenden Forderungen haben, die es reinkommen. Sie in Summe haben es 12, 13 Millionen an, an Assets quasi frei verfügbar oder kurzfristig verfügbar. Und da kommen wir jetzt zum interessanten Punkt Aktienstruktur. Es sind ungefähr 1,3 Milliarden Aktien draußen, die typische australische Company. Die Company steht bei 1 Cent. Das heißt, es sind ungefähr 13 Millionen. Das heißt, der Aktienkurs ist derzeit mit Cash unterlegt. Wenn jetzt der Partner reinkommt, müssen Sie nicht einmal für die nächste Expansionsstufe etwas bezahlen. Sozusagen kriege ich jetzt bei der Company das Projekt gratis mitgeliefert und wenn da ein Partner reinkommt, dann zeigt es, wie wertvoll das Projekt ist und führt hoffentlich dann zu einem Kursanstieg. Er hat ein gutes Beispiel gemacht, vor ein paar Jahren haben sie ein Zink-Projekt gehabt, der Zink-Projekt, das haben sie dann dementsprechend äh, verkauft äh, oder einen Partner reingenommen und die Aktie ist von 1,5 Cent auf 10 Cent gestiegen und das hofft er natürlich, dass er jetzt auch mit diesem Deal oder mit dem nächsten Deal, der hoffentlich in den nächsten sechs Monaten kommen wird, machen machen wird und dann ist natürlich das für einen Investor eine interessante Sache. Äh, ja, Rox Resources auf die Watchlist nehmen, anschauen und dann sehen wir dementsprechend, was in den nächsten zwölf Monaten draus geworden ist. Tschüss und Papa, das war München, November 2018. Tschüss. Thank you. Thank you.